My name is Dr. Daniel Doyle, and today I wanted to talk to you about low back pain and a very common cause of low back pain, which are subluxations. Now, subluxations are when our joints go out of position and they start pinching and choking off nerves. This can occur for a variety of different reasons. Uh, excessive bending and twisting, uh, improper lifting are very common causes from sitting at a computer for a prolonged period of time that most of us do in our everyday jobs. Uh, what happens is that we start to damage our ligaments that hold our bones together. Once we damage those ligaments, the bone goes out of place, pinches and chokes off nerves, and it causes us to have the symptoms such as pain, stiffness, or even actually radiating pain down our leg. Now, how do we determine if subluxations are causing our low back pain? Well, what we would have to do is we would come in for a free consultation. I would talk to you about your history and see if you're a chiropractic candidate. If you are, we would do a very extensive examination to determine any decrease in joint mobility, see how those joints are moving. Uh, we would also include x-ray analysis where we would determine any biomechanical faults or misalignment of our spine. Now, in these x-rays, we can determine a variety of different things. Uh, we can see how our curvatures are positioned, see how our spine is aligned. Uh, we can also determine any uh, excess deterioration in particular joints. We know that subluxations are causing a progressive degeneration in those areas, uh, which is coming from increased compression. Also, when we take a picture of our spine, we can determine if how our pelvis is aligned. That's very important on uh, how we're feeling as well as how we're moving. And as you can see in this individual, we have a pretty severe uh, and noticeable lateral curvature in our low back. So we, obviously have to do very specific chiropractic adjustments as well as uh, prescribe some a series of home exercises where they'd be doing at home specific uh, exercises to counteract those biomechanical faults. Now I know what you're wondering is that you know most of the time patients after back surgery they still have pain and they say oh chiropractic can't help us. That couldn't be farther from the truth and in fact uh, you need us more than ever. Because once we have surgery, it usually, it typically is, is called end stage degeneration. So our spine and our joints aren't moving as, as well as they should be. Uh, for example, I had one patient that came into my office. He was a farmer. He worked a manual labor job. He had spinal surgery. He actually had rods and bolts in his back. And he was fusion from his L3, his third low back vertebrae, all the way to his fifth. They were fused together. He was still having radiating pain down his right leg. He went to physical therapy, it wouldn't help. He did not want to take medication. He came to me as a last resort. Most chiropractors said he went to three other chiropractors, they wouldn't help him, they wouldn't touch him. What we found through examination and x-rays is that he was suffering from subluxations. We did very specific chiropractic adjustments and after only four treatments, he no longer had radiating pain down his leg. He was able to go back to his job and he was able to provide for his family. Now, we also were able to keep him on a, uh, on a, a treatment schedule we allowed him to strengthen his spine, reduce the, uh, the progression of the subluxation, and allowed him to live a happy, healthy, and uh, fulfilling life. So if you are suffering even after having surgery, surgery from low back pain, please give us a call. Uh, we will do a consultation. I'll let you know if you're a chiropractic candidate. Most importantly, I'll let you know if I can help you.